In this video I'm going to be unboxing the Canon 24mm f2.8 STM lens. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here then click the subscribe button so you don't miss any free content. Now in this video I'm primarily going to be unboxing the Canon 24mm f2.8 STM lens. However, for me to do that I need to make a few upgrades to this setup. Now this is what I call the presentation setup and as you know I have my macro setup which is over here behind me to my right and I also have my desktop setup and the cameras move position depending on what type of video I am producing. Now I'm doing, starting to do a lot of unboxing and I want a really good unboxing setup and to do that the 50mm just isn't going to cut it for several reasons. Well, the first main reason is you can't see what's on my desk. This It's right in front of me but you can't see it, okay? And secondly, the 50mm, because I'm, I'm on a crop sensor, the camera is as far back as I can get it but it's still right in my face and it's too personal and with teeth like mine that's not something you really want to see unless you're watching Jeremy Kyle. The first thing uh, that I try is my 24 to 105 L series lens, this is an f4 lens and I usually whack that onto that camera, let's do that now and we'll see what the results are like. So that lens is on there, now as you can see because it's only an f4 lens I have to bump up my ISO to compensate for the f4 lens. Now it looks okay, you can pass, you can certainly use it for YouTube or whatever else you want to use it for, however I don't like grain in my footage and there's a lot of grain in areas over here and here which gets emphasized once you do a color grade um, basically it just emphasizes the grain I don't like it now I love the out of focus background that the 50 millimeter gives you we're not quite going to get the same amount of out of focus background or bokeh from the 24 millimeter but it will be a lot better than the L series 24mm because you've got f2.8 and not f4. So a couple of things have changed since the um, the before and the after. I've now taken my microphone off the table. Okay, so you're not getting so much of my hitting the table. It sounds like I'm smacking it. It's not. I've got a bigger light which was trying to compensate for that lens. But unfortunately it doesn't quite get there. It's almost there but just not quite there. And we have an overhead now we've got a boom arm with my 650D up here so I can do unboxings here so let's get on to the stuff you've come here to see and that is the Canon EFS 24mm 2.8 STM lens this is going to be the final solution I think we're going to get the same 24mm focal length but I'm going to have it at an f2.8 instead of f4 let's get this open and have a look don't need that don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay, so this is what we want to get the nitty gritty in. Get lost. There we go. That is the EFS 24mm f2.8, or typically known as the pancake lens. It's uh, obviously, you can see why it's called a pancake lens. We've got an automatic focus switch. It's an STM lens, so it's going to be nice and quiet. Huh. <laughs> it says macro on it. <laughs> we'll have to test that out before I uh, dish it, but I seriously doubt this is going to be doing much macro, to be honest with you. But we're not here for that. We're here to see what this is like at video for my presentation. So let's throw this onto the ATD and let's see what it's like. So there's the EFS 24mm STM lens on there. Now, because it's an f2.8 lens, we can now lower our ISO. And unlike before with the 50mm, because we've got the better light, I can now lower it to ISO 200. Which means now when I colour grade my footage, you can see that we're getting a lot better result. And the size difference between these two lenses are absolutely massive. This is the first L-series lens I had. So it performs well, but only in the right conditions. So in these conditions that my uh, office is in, the STM lens, the 24mm pancake lens, outperforms my L-series lens simply because it's an f2.8. So there's 
the uh, footage you see and the footage now, this is on an A to D, so you can make up your own minds of what you think of this lens. This is going to be my new presentation setup. Anything that I buy and I unbox is going to be done on this setup. What do you think of the Canon 24mm pancake lens? Is it good for video? I'm in quite impressed with the video capabilities so far of this lens, particularly for the price point. I only paid £100 for this lens, so that was a, a good deal. Anyway, my name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. Smash that like button. Share, subscribe if you haven't done already, and as always, I will see you on the next video.